we are steadily approaching summertime and that seems to be the time that everyone chooses to get married. I'm sure there's some kind of statistics out there, but I know from my personal experience, everybody and their mama seems to choose the, the summertime to get married. And if you're at my age, it seems like everyone in your circles get married from college friends to high school friends to co-workers, neighbors, childhood friends, pretty much everybody but you. Damn. And as happy as you are for them, it's, it starts to become a daunting task to figure out what you're gonna wear to, to this wedding. And you know, as for us athletic men, it becomes even more of a daunting task because nothing fits us. So in this video, I'm gonna go through three suggestions that you as the athletic man can wear that will not only complement your style, but also your physique. So let's talk about it. All right, so if you fall under the category of a mesomorph like me, or an endomorph, you know you find it hard to find sport coats or suit jackets that fit you perfectly off the rack. I know for me, I'm a 42 regular for most brands. But there are other brands that I'm a 44 regular. I have one sport coat right now in, in my closet that's a 43 regular. And that's rare because these um, sport coat sizes and suit, suit, suit jacket sizes, they go by even numbers. So 40, 42, 44, 46, and so on. So, and I'm just assume that you may or may not have the money for a custom made suit, but you definitely don't have the time to get one made. So time is of the essence and you're looking to get something for a wedding. Now, I always suggest to men who are looking to buy their first suit and who, who are in looking to buy, you know, many more suits after that. They just want this one suit that they can use for pretty much everything. Not only will I suggest a versatile color like charcoal gray or navy blue, but I also suggest a three-piece suit. And the reason for that being with the three-piece, you can get the most bang out of your buck with that. There's so many variations of styles that you can pull from, from a three-piece suit. Which, and one of those styles is my first suggestion, which is the vest and pants combination. You can, you can ditch the, the coat and just chill with the you know, dress shirt, tie, vest, and pants. It's summertime, you can roll up the sleeves and show a little bit of that forearm. And I, I love this, this, this combo because it kind of tiptoes on the border of formality, but it's not all the way formal. You kind of chill, but it's wedding appropriate. And quite frankly, I'm trying to get some more vest and pants combinations because, you know, sometimes these, these suit jackets and these sport coats don't fit me and these big, big shoulders. So... If you're not looking to buy a three-piece suit, the other suggestion is get suit separates and just get the vest and pants. In my second suggestion, we're gonna combine two worlds, formal and casual. So we're gonna take a formal clothing item, a suit, and merge it with a casual clothing item, a polo shirt. Now you're thinking, damn, you can wear a polo shirt with a suit? Yes, you can pretty much wear any casual item with a suit and pull it off. You know, style is about confidence, so you can pull pretty much pull off anything. You know, I see guys nowadays wearing suits and sneakers, and they look great. They, they pull it off. I wouldn't suggest that, though, for the wedding. Um, but unless, you know, the bride and groom have, has, have stated that it's going to be a really chill, casual type of wedding, then sure, go ahead. Wear your suit with a pair of sneakers, but make sure that they are spotless, they are clean. Please. But if that's not the case, I would say ditch the sneakers, bring in a pair of loafers, and add a polo shirt with the suit. The reason for that being is you want to respect the occasion and the formality of the occasion by wearing a suit, but then you want to be cool and casual. You know, you are not a suit and tie or shirt and tie kind of guy. So the polo shirt is a great alternative to that. And besides, it's summertime, it's going to get hot. You want to want to take your coat off. When you do, the polo shirt, it not only it complements your chest, it's short sleeve, so it complements your biceps as well. You know, when, by the time you get to the reception and you want to start dancing, you want to have, you want to take your coat off. And, you know, when you take your coat off, you have the polo shirt, the, the suit pants, and the loafers. You still look kind of, you know, wedding, wedding appropriate, but you're, you're casual, you're cool. And, hey, if you're a single guy, I heard 
I heard that weddings are a great place to meet other singles. So, I mean, you could meet a nice young lady there that sees you with your polo shirt showing up your body and, you know, also showing her that you have a great sense of style. So, picture this. A suit with a pair of loafers and a polo shirt. You're welcome. So, my third suggestion we're going to tap into um, a topic that I spoke about a couple weeks ago, contextual style. And, you know, when you're thinking about contextual style, one of the aspects of that is dressing according to the weather. So you want to find summer friendly fabrics. So your linens, your seersuckers, your light cotton. But the one that I really want to highlight is linen. Now, I was one of those people that didn't want anything to do with linen because of the wrinkled look. You know, but slowly but surely, I'm starting to embrace linen. And maybe it's because of my love for sprezzatura, which is an Italian way of dressing. It's kind of like a sloppy way of dressing, but it's, it looks stylish. Like you care, but you don't care, but it still looks good. And the, the wrinkles kind of remind me of that. Like, yeah, it's wrinkled. I don't care, but it still looks good. So right now, I have three linen sport coats. I have one that's 100% linen, I've got one that's a linen cotton blend, and I have uh, another one that's 100% linen. Two of them are double-breasted, and one is a single-breasted. Now, if you have the confidence to pull up a full linen suit, go right ahead. Like I said, I'm slowly embracing it, so I'm going to just stick to my sport coat for now. Now, the reason why I suggest linen is because, like, these other fabrics, like, you know, um, seersucker, silk, these are loosely woven fabrics. So, it creates breathability. You know, body heat, the body heat can easily escape from that, and the cool air can come into that, keeping you cool. So, another reason why I suggest linen is a lot of guys don't, don't either know about it or simply just don't want to wear it. And if you wear linen, you're pretty much telling everyone that you understand fabrics in context with the weather. Because when I was working in men's warehouse, guys would come in and they only knew two fabrics, cotton and wool. So you got to understand which fabrics work best in cold weather and which fabric works best in warm weather. And linen is definitely one that works in warm weather. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a summer wedding. If I'm wearing a fab, if I'm wearing um, a linen sport coat, maybe you're different. This is just me. I wouldn't wear a tie with my dress shirt. I mean, it's hot. You know, just doing this video is hot. Just wearing this tie. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it off. So during this during the summertime, it's definitely gonna be hot. So you want to be as cool as possible. So. I would suggest to ditch the tie, wear a nice dress shirt with your linen suit or sport coat and, you know, look fly. You can always take the, the, the coat off, roll up your sleeves and have a good time. So my third suggestion is linen. All right, guys. So those are my three suggestions for a fit guy attending a summer wedding this year. I'm going to give you a fourth suggestion, though what I was wearing in this video. So a nice dress shirt, some braces or suspenders, and a tie. As you saw, I dished the tie, so you can also dish the tie, roll up the sleeves, and be cool. You know, I'm all about being comfortable and cool, and it's, it's the summertime, so you're gonna be hot. So I've attached a, a support article to this video, as always, but I've also attached a lookbook to go with the article and video, so you're getting all three, the video, article, and lookbook. The, of course, the article and lookbook can be found on my website, fitmanstyle.com. And of course, this video is on YouTube. Search fitmanstyle, well, you're, you're watching the video, so. Once again, thank you for watching. If you know any fit guy who could use this information, just pass this along to him. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.